Deep inside the Yellowstone caldera, a bowl-shaped rocky crater in the heart of Yellowstone National Park, there are signs that a future eruption is imminent near the caldera's northeastern rim. But that eruption is not expected anytime soon. There is no current chance of an eruption happening in Yellowstone National Park, said Ninfa Bennington, a geophysicist with the U.S. Geological Survey. The new research doesn't predict when another major eruption will occur, but it suggests that the most likely place for one to occur is along the caldera's northeastern rim. Bennington and seven colleagues suggest that heat carried by basaltic magma in the crust beneath the caldera has triggered lobes or pockets of rhyolite magma to move northeastward from the center of the caldera. The scientists also found that the middle to upper crust of the caldera is not underlain by a single large magma reservoir, but rather by several lobes of rhyolite magma. They are all different sizes, but their total volume is much smaller than if the magma were distributed throughout the caldera as a single reservoir, Bennington said. To understand what's going on beneath the caldera, and to understand what might produce such a powerful eruption, you have to understand two basic types of magma. Basaltic magma is like the kind you typically find flowing downhill relatively quickly during an eruption of Kalauea or Mauna Loa volcanoes in Hawaii. It has a low viscosity. Rhyolite magma, on the other hand, has a much higher viscosity and requires a lot of force to erupt. That means that if you have rhyolite magma sitting inside a volcano, it's really resistant to flow. You have to generate a lot of pressure to get that material out of the volcano. So what happens is that a lot of these rhyolite eruptions are really explosive. Because much of the base of Yellowstone is made up of silica-rich, very viscous rhyolite magma, the landscape has a history of very explosive eruptions, he said. But the current conditions are what's best described as a boiling cauldron and one with different pockets of magma. The basaltic magma chamber in the western part of the caldera is cooling and lacks a heat source to sustain volcanic activity, Bennington said. Although the rhyolite magma lobe is hot enough, it has not yet reached the pressure cooker-like concentrations needed for an eruption. When it will reach that point is unknown. The study also concluded that the amount of magma at the bottom of the caldera is far below previous estimates, which put it at one to four times the volume of the largest caldera forming eruptions in the past. The isolated plume of magma that Bennington and his colleagues identified has a volume consistent with a small volume post-caldera Yellowstone eruption. Although the lobe along the northeastern edge of the caldera suggests that a future eruption could occur in that corner of the caldera, Bennington said the current concentration of magma in the lobe is too small to support the current eruption.